Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. This is another day, amen, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, amen, and be glad in it. I tried sad, sad, didn't work out too good. Amen. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer. Oh, grace and Father, we come approaching your throne of grace. Amen. Through your son, Jesus God. Amen. Erika, Koshima, Roshe, Kira, Iraka, Edema, Eri. Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus that you give us wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Amen. Concerning your word this afternoon, Lord. And we want to add to and God, we won't take anything away from it. It was a right and divide your word by your spirit and by your great power. Special prayer for John Barry, Lord. He called in, saying, be a little late, Lord. We pray that you are a safe trip here. Amen. Thank you for the ones that's already here. Amen. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ over their lives, O oh Lord. We bind every human spirit to try to help. Help in our try to help them stop from getting here. We bind them in Jesus' name. Lord, I'm going to send it. And to be bound in heaven. In Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb. And God, will, amen, we pray for those that are sick in their bodies, Lord. Let your healing virtue flow like a river through their bodies. In Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. A special prayer for victory in Jesus, Bible says, the Son of the Lord. And we be dead to sin, but alive to righteousness. Let your seed remain in us, O oh God, that we can't sin. In Jesus' name, we ask, O oh God. And God, we are thank you for it. In the name of Jesus and by the blood of the Lamb, Lord. Lord, may everybody go on through some, Lord. And may we be Spirit of the financial, Lord. And in their life is your blessing, God. And may God in Philippians 4 19. My God shall supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I think that all our needs are being met, Lord. In Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Lord, bless God. We give you all honor and the glory and the praise for it, God. In Jesus' wonderful name, O oh Lord, we pray for the president and those in the thought of the Lord, the Republicans, the Democrats, God. Let there be peace in the White House, Lord. Let there be peace in our house, O oh God. We ask in the name of Jesus, Lord. And those that are not saved in that White House, let them be saved, God. Those that are not saved in our house, Lord, save them, Lord. In Jesus' name, we ask, O oh God. And God, we are thank you for that. In Jesus' wonderful name, everybody say, Amen and amen, amen. Amen. We pray also for the peace of Israel, God. Amen. Amen. Bless God. We bless Israel with the fruit of our lips. You say, we bless Israel, you bless us. In Jesus' name, everybody say, Amen and amen. Bless God. Give the Lord, amen, a hand clap for you. And we got a twofold uh, blessing today, man. We're we going to uh, deal with, amen, with hell. Amen. I got to get off. I know we told you. Amen. Uh, Sunday we'll probably be starting at uh, Second Peter, amen, the first chapter. But instead of that, I got to get Revelation, the 13th chapter off of it. Amen. Brother David had dealt with that. Amen. He spoke on that and then uh, been in my spirit. Amen. Bless God. So I got to get it off. Let's go to Revelation 13 chapter. And then after we, we'll see what kind of time we have. We finish that and then we go to 2 Peter. Amen. But we want to deal with Revelation at 13 chapter first. At page 1346. Amen. Page 13. Amen. 46. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. And upon his horn ten crowns, and upon his head the name of blasphemy. Now, in order to understand and get knowledge of what uh, uh, John saw uh, in the book of Revelation here, I mean, we can go to page uh, page 972, that's, that's uh, Daniel 7 and 24. That's Daniel 7 and 24. Amen. Then you get a little bit more knowledge, amen, of what was happening here. Amen. Bless God. Lord, you're awesome. Thank you for that. Amen. Uh, 9 and 70, page 972, Daniel, amen, uh, 7 and 24. Amen. This is the interpretation that Daniel received even before the book of Revelation was written. That's awesome, ain't it? You ain't going to get everything in one place, so that's why you have to study and let the Holy Spirit guide you, man, into all the truth. Amen. So look at uh, uh, Daniel 7 and 24. And the ten horns out of these kingdoms are ten kings. 
Now I'm telling you what those horns are, they're kingdoms. They're dealing with kings. So that way you have a little bit more knowledge and understanding. Amen. What it's saying in Revelation the 13th chapter. Amen. Start at that first word. Um, and shall arise, and another shall arise after them, and it shall be uh, delivered, amen, from the first, and it shall subdue three kings. So it's dealing with kingdoms here. Let's go back to Revelation, the 13th chapter, amen, of uh, the first verse, amen. So that's where we, we found the uh, horns, it's talking about, and upon his uh, horns, ten crowns. So those, those horns is dealing with kingdoms. Amen. So that's what God did with. So he take it, amen, from the spiritual realm, amen, bring it back, amen, into the natural realm, amen, and break it down for us to understand it dealing with kingdoms. All right, look at that second verse. That's 13 chapter, amen, the second verse. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a, of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him, him power. Now that beast he's talking about is also talking about kingdoms. Talking about a king here now. Talking about a king. Talking about a man. So Satan is giving him what? Power. Oh, y'all going to get somebody here today. It's powerful stuff. You're going to see what, what, the, what the devil can do. But now he can't fool, he can't fool the Christians because they got the word. They got the what? You can't fool nobody with the word. They got the word of God in Amen. They know how to write and divide it when people come throw some stuff at it. Amen. They know how to write and divide that word. Amen. Bless God. So here, amen, we see here, amen, in, in, in that second word, amen, that the dragon gave him power and, and his seat and great authority. Uh, so that's a strong. So it has to be talking about a what? Talking about a man. That beast is talking about, he called him a beast, but it's actually talking about a man that's going to sit Amen, as uh, uh, an authority. So Satan going to give him power to rule. Look at that third verse. And I saw uh, one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his uh, daily wound was healed. Who healed him? The devil did. Oh, uh, y'all get this in the word now. Uh, we make this thing plain today. The devil did it. He healed, he healed a man that got wounded. Lord, have mercy, God. And all the world wondered after the beast. So when they saw that, that he got healed, they started going after him because they saw that there's some power going on on the inside of him. So there's a devil that they're doing the work. A lot of people don't, a lot of people don't know that, amen, because they ain't got no word in them. But the word is telling you what's happening here so you won't be deceived when it do happen. You don't know what to do. Amen. Now look at that fourth word. And they worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast. So they worship who? The devil. See, the devil won't worship. So they know, amen, that uh, the dragon that the one did it, the devil the one that did it, so they gave him worship. So the devil always wanted to be like God. He wants people to worship him. I ain't worship no devil. Amen. I'm worshiping God. Amen. Bless God. Lord, how much God? I'm bless myself here. And they worship the beast. Uh, now, not only did they worship the dragon, but they worship the king, the man that was sitting on the throne. Uh, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. His own mind. Who was able to make war with him. So they asked the question, who was able to make war with him? Because they saw him getting, uh, uh, his wound getting healed by the dragon. So they, 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 they said, well, ain't nobody can make war. Who y'all think can make war with him? God can. God's going to put him down. Uh, they don't. They don't know that. They, they're looking at what's going on right now and how the how the dragon, amen, uh, uh, healed them. How the devil will heal them. So they worship the devil, and then they turn around and worship the beast, which is which is a man. They, they, they bow them down before them, amen, because they think they uh, they got all this power now. Look at that fifth verse. And that was given unto him in mouth speaking great things and blasphemy, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. So when I looked at the father two months, I mean, did a calculation with it, that's three and a half years. So Satan is going, uh, Lord have mercy, uh, this mark of the beast is going to last only three and a half years. Y'all getting that? Uh, and then it's going to be the end of it. Lord have mercy, God. My God, it's on now. Y'all get, get some knowledge here today. Uh, look, look, look at another one. Let's look at another one. Lord, how much God? Six five. And he opened his mouth and blasphemed against God. He did what? 
And that's what the devil do. You have to go against God. That's the way Satan works. Amen. Satan, Satan ain't, ain't trying to hit you. He's trying to destroy you. Amen. Trying to destroy you. Amen. Bless God. So we need to have knowledge to know, amen, that we ain't going to hell with him. Because the devil already know he on his way to hell. Uh, we're devil, that's what we're going to be dealing with today now. We're going to still be dealing with hell, amen, until 7 o'clock. Then we're going to get in, amen, into a lesson on how to whip the devil. So we want to end up in, yeah. somebody walking with him. So we want to end up in hell. Lord, have mercy, God. Uh, look at that seven verse. And it was, it was given to him to make war with the what? That's what they, Brother David, how about Brother David talk about this? Hey, folks saying that the saints ain't going to be here. Uh, so we had to, we, I had to uh, get this off of me. I had to bring the word of God and make it plain. And what Brother David had brought out, amen, it's, all, it's in the word, amen, that they're going to make war with the saints. Uh-oh. And to overcome them, and power was given him over all kingdoms and towns and nations. So he had power over the saints of God. He had power over the nations for how long? Three and a half years. 42 months. Uh, that's, and the Bible is going to say, this is this, what you're going to find out, the patience of the saint. But they're going to wait for the Lord to come in and, and, and knock all this stuff out. So they're going to have to have patience while they're going through all this. All right. They're going to have to believe God. Because there's going to be something that's going to die, amen, for the cause of Christ. And then let's look at another. Lord, have mercy, God. Uh, the eighth verse. Uh, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Who, who they worship? They worship the devil and the, and the king. Now, y'all will see something else in here. All this the powerful stuff in that. Whose name are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. So if your name is not written in the book of life, you're going to worship the devil and you're going to worship this king. Because your name not in the book of life. Well, preacher, I'll give my name in the book of life. Repent. Amen. Give your life to the Lord. Ask Jesus Christ to come in and he'll put your name in that. And start living for him. Now there's another scripture saying uh, your name can be blotted out. So how your name be blotted out? By well, sending against God, you can blot your name out. Oh, that's Revelation, that's Revelation 3 and 5. So make sure, uh, let, let's look at Revelation 3 and 5. Amen. Right quick. And then we'll come back over here. Amen. So we can give you some groceries. Amen. To back up what I just said. Amen. Bless God. Revelation 3 and 5, that's page 1339. Amen. And he that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my, my father and before his angels. So what are they overcoming here? Sin. They're overcoming sin. Amen. That's, amen. That's our teaching over here. Amen. The victory of Jesus Bible says that being overcomer. So Jesus Christ gave us power and authority. Amen. The power is the Holy Ghost. The authority is Jesus Christ. He gave us power and authority over all the work. All the work. Don't let the devil fool you. You got power and authority over him. I don't care what kind of junk you're pulling on you. Use your power and authority and get it off of you. Use your what? Use your power and authority and get it off of you. The name of Jesus by the blood of the Lamb. Lord, how much? So look at that. Uh, let's go to Revelation, back to Revelation 13, chapter. My God. Where did that preacher come from? But my text is zip 777-03-1375, East Luthers. Thank you. Hey, Amen. Let's go back, amen, to uh, Revelation 13, chapter. And look at that nine verbs. If any man have ear to hear, let him what? Yeah. Uh, you need to hear this now. If you got some ears, they want you to listen to it. Because this is what's going to happen. It's coming down the pipeline. It ain't happened yet. It's a prophecy now. It's coming It's coming to pass. Amen. It's going to happen. Amen. Look at uh, 10 right. And that he that leaving into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. Uh, here is the patient and the fate of the what? So the saints are still what? Here. They're still here. So here's the patient. As you see, they got to be patient now. They got to wait for this to be fulfilled. They got to wait for God, amen, to carry out his word for three and a half years. Look at the 11th verse. And I beheld another beast, amen, coming, amen, up out of her, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Now, he got two horns. So who, what, kind, what kind of beast you talking about there? Talking about kings coming up. And, he, and the devil speaking through 
Y'all go go, oh, this is powerful stuff. Hey, Amen. Look at that 12 right. And he exercised all the power of the first beast. Lord, have mercy. The first king. Before him, and caused the earth and them which well they in to worship the first beast, whose dead wounded was healed. So he 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 got them uh, still worshiping the first beast. Because now you got the second one on, on, on here. Amen. Look at 13 verse. And he doeth great wonders so that he made fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of man. What, what he can call, call, what he can do? He can call fire to come down. That's Satan working through him now. He has that power now. He has that power came from a dragon. So now the dragon and is working through this uh, king here and he calling fire down from heaven. So some people that don't know the law, they think, oh, well, that's God. You think that's what? They're going to be deceived that don't know the law. And their name not written in the Lamb Book of Life. So they will be deceived. Uh, look at that 14 verse. And, and, and deceive them. What they did? Deceive them that dwell on the earth by the mean of those miracles. So they're doing what? Yeah. They're doing miracles. They're making fire come down from heaven. Amen. The dragon, amen, is using these men. The devil is using these men to do that. Uh, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on earth, that they should make an image. What you supposed now? You supposed to make an image? No, sir. Uh, why not? God told you not to make an image as Exodus, amen. You see, now they're doing everything against God. They, they, they're going against his law. Uh, God said, don't make any image or likeness of anything in heaven, amen, above, on the earth, under the earth, under the waters, and don't bow down to them. That's right. Y'all heard such a kid? Okay. And those that got some word, they would say, wait a minute now. Uh -uh. God word said, don't make any image of likeness of how many times? Anything. And then don't bow down. So now they're going to make the image. Then they're going to have to fully bow down to them. Oh, it's on here. Amen. We, 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 we don't cut no corners here. We put everything out. Lord, I must in the name of Jesus. And by the blood of the Lamb. Uh, so saying, amen, to them that dwell on earth, uh, that they should make an image, amen, to the, uh, to the beast as, as, as the king, uh, which had the wound uh, by a sword and, and did live. Amen. Look at 15, right? And he had power to give life into the image of the beast. Y'all got that? The image have life now. An uh, image. Oh, y'all getting there. He got some life. And he can, and he can talk to Why wow, y'all 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 gonna get it? It's in the word now. Hey Amen. Bless God. And, and, and Lord, have mercy God. He, he calls uh, many of the worship uh, the image. Let's see, where was that? Fifteen. Where sixteen? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Uh image we should uh both speak. Now you know he, he's alive and he's doing what? He's talking. This is image. Now you know the folks gonna fall for that. Yeah. To see an uh, image, amen, made by man's hand. And, he, and he's alive and talking. Boy, but the Christians ain't going to fall for that. The saints of God, they ain't falling for that. Amen. Because his name written in the Lamb of the Light, and plus he got some word in him. I said he got some word in him. Lord, amen. And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be what? Yeah. So if you don't worship him, see, by they, they're going to kill you if you don't worship him because then they want you to sin against God. So they figured you, you'll try to save your life and go ahead and bow down to this image. Uh, don't do it. Yeah, stay a saint. Stay a, stay a saint. Don't fall for that. Yeah, it ain't going to be nothing nice. Those that did fall for it, they're going to hell. Amen. Amen. They're still dealing with hell. Uh, 13 job. And he caused all both small and great, rich and poor, free and born to receive a mark in their right hand and in their what? Forehead. So you see, you, you get the mark, amen, you take the 666, that's the number that, uh, of the mark that you're going to receive, amen, and you hand your forehead, and then it got all the information in there where you gave a, you go be able to go to Kroger's or Walmart or wherever else, amen, that's God Target, amen, you'll be able to buy and sell as long as you take the, the mark. You get 75. And that note, I'll bring it a bit closer to home. Amen. Bless God. 
Amen. Seventy five. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or, or, or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So he got to have the name of the beast and his number. Y'all got that? that? They got to have them both now. His name and his number. And that no man might buy or sell if they had the mark and then the image of the beast or the number of his name. Look at 18 verse. Now here is what? He's giving us wisdom here. I hope y'all getting this wisdom, uh, saints of God. And backslider, come on back. Come on back to God because you're going to end up with the devil if you don't repent. Come on back in Jesus' name. You got a chance. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't hit yet. I mean, this Mark of the Beast ain't came yet, but it's on his way. Here's wisdom. Let him that had understanding count uh, the number of the beast for as the number of a man. And his number is six hundred three scores and six. So uh, when you uh, uh, in uh, Ehemah, when you put that together, it's six six six, and then you got his name too. So that's way that, that way they know who you are, whether you're working for the devil or not. So now they got you, Amen, working for the devil, bound down to an image. Lord, they are man already got you doing that today, talking to them men. You need to stop that because that's against God. Don't let man deceive you, amen, and have you talking to them statues and they can't talk back. Man, got eyes to see and they can't see nothing, got a hand, amen, can't do nothing. That's, that's against God. God is a jealous God. He said, don't put any other gods, amen, before me. So this is what, this is what the devil is going to do, amen, uh, when the uh, uh, Lord have mercy, when the mark of the beast come on the scene. Get people to sin against God. Lord, help us, Jesus. Amen. Now let, let's go to... Uh, Second Peter, amen, let's go to Second Peter. Second Peter got a lot of gross in there. We got a lot of gross in there. Page 13, 25. Amen, page 13, amen, 25. Thank you, Brother David, bringing it out. I had to, I had to unload it. Amen, that'll keep you from going to hell when you know the truth. Lord, how much you got? Amen, uh, page 13, 25. Amen, the second Peter, the second chapter, the first verse. Uh, but there are false prophets uh, also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. So they got false what? Prophets and teachers. How you going to know? By the fruit. And the word. And the word. And the word. <laughs> you know by the fruit and by what they say. Oh, uh, yeah. God, God is letting us know. Amen. So we won't be ignorant. Amen. What's coming down the pipeline. So that you got false prophets and teachers. So you need to listen to them and find out if they line up with the word of God. Amen. If they don't line up with the word of God and they're changing God's word, amen, that's a false prophet. That's a false teacher. Amen. And then they ain't living that. Amen. They're living like the devil. Lord, have mercy. Uh, false prophet, false teachers among you who probably shall bring uh, downable heresies. So when I look at the downable heresies, I had, I had to do, uh, I had to give me an interpretation of that. Extreme bad, as a downable mean, and heresies is disagreeable. They go against the word. Amen. They, they speak against God's word. Uh, so they change. They, what they do, they come in and change the word of God. Even uh, denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Now, these are people that were saved. I hope y'all caught that. Uh, look, look, look at that other part of that. Uh, the Lord that had bought them, they, 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 they are backslidden. Y'all got that? The Lord that bought them. And they're going to bring what kind of destruction? Swill. Uh, what do you think they're going to end up at? They're going to hell. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, we're going to tell it to you from the word. Amen. The word tell, it, tell us that. Amen. So we're going to speak the word around here. Look at the second word. And many shall follow their presumptuous way. Uh, it's going to have a lot of folks following. I ain't following the Lord. Uh, but presumptions mean destruction, destructive way. So their ways is destructive. By reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. They're going to speak against the truth. Not for the truth. My God, help me, Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Amen. And through our covenants uh, shall they with fain words make merchandise of you. Uh, they're going to make a merchandise of you. Amen. Uh, love body, books, and everything else. Amen. If that book don't line up with the word of God, you better throw that book away. 
I said, if you don't line up with God's word, you better throw the book away. Because we're dealing with a book here now called Dang uh, Arm in Danger. That's what we've been studying out of. But we make sure it lined up with the word. Amen. To cover men shall they uh, feign words, uh, make merchandise of you. Amen. 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 Whose uh, judgment now of a long time linger not, and their damnation slumber not. Destruction. That's what damnation. Look at that T. It means destruction. So they go back to destruction tell you because they're teaching you stuff that's wrong. Getting you away from God's law and his commandments. And now you're living in sin. Look at that fourth verse. For if God spared not the angels that sinned, he didn't do what? Now we're going to go to Genesis and see what these angels did. Now these are not the, these are not the angels that fell with Satan. These are the, this is another group of angels. And we're going to see what they did. Uh, so that way we don't do that. We won't be like no, like no fallen angels. Neither we want to do the angels that left their first estate. Now these angels left their first estate. Amen. Uh, but cast them down to what? What did he cast them down to? A uh, hell. Yeah, he's supposed to want to deal with hell. We deal with hell. Amen. Uh, and cast them out of hell and deliver them into chains of darkness to reserve into judgment. Lord, have mercy. Uh, so, Lord, have mercy, God. We're going to deal with the judgment. Let's deal with the judgment first because this, this wasn't in a note, uh, but it's in my spirit. Let, let's go to 1 Corinthians. Amen. 1 Corinthians. Amen. Bless God. And we're going to see you're going to judge the angels. Uh, at page 1243. Page 1243, you're going to see you're going to judge these fallen angels, amen, that went, uh, left their first estate. And then we're going to get some more scriptures to back us up, amen, and see, amen, what happened and what they did. Uh, look at that sixth uh, chapter. For, uh, there any of you having a matter against another, go to law before the unjust and not before the saints. What did he tell you to go before? You need to go before the saints if y'all want something judged. Don't go before no unjust judge. Yeah, yeah, because they go, they might judge. They may not judge the way God tell you to tell you to judge the situation. So you want to go before them. Look at that second verse. Do you not know, Amen, that the saints shall judge the world? You see, you didn't know that. That's a question now. And if you shall be judged by you, are 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 you yet unworthy to judge the smallest matter? You can't handle the list up in the church. What's wrong with y'all? Amen. Because you see, the saints are going to judge according to God's word. Not according to your situation. According to what the word of God says about the situation. Look at that third verse. Know ye not that you shall be judged, that you shall judge what? Who, who, who much more than uh, shall be changed in his life? So what angels do you think he's talking about? Uh, fallen angels and also the ones that's locked up. Yeah, well, y'all go judge them angels. I wonder why y'all able to judge angels. Because y'all say, y'all what? Y'all gave your life to the Lord. And you're living right. You're living holy. You ain't living like the devil. Yeah, you're living according to the word of God. So that's why you're able to judge, amen, because you're not living like they live. Like the angels did. Yeah, that's why they fell. See, an angel can't repent. Y'all didn't know that? An angel can't be redeemed. That's why they don't lock up. Because we can repent and be redeemed. We can be born again. See, that they didn't have, they, an angel can't have but one chance. Oh, Y'all getting it? They can't repent. They said they don't like us. Oh, they don't like us at all. But God. But, but God. My God, my God. You show me where angel repent. And I eat the page. I do it. I get bold around it. I'll eat the page. You can show me where angel can repent. Uh, let's go back, amen, to uh, Jude. Let's go to Jude the sixth, uh, sixth verse. Let's go to Jude the sixth verse. That's going to be page 1335. Amen. Page 1335. Amen. It's Jude the sixth verse. Amen. And the angel which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation. They did what? They left. They left, they left where God had them at, their own habitation. That's why God wants you, amen, uh, backsliding, going back to the world. 
You need you, you need your own habitation. So you need to stay in holiness. Amen. You need to stay, amen, where folks preaching holiness, living holiness. Oh, I'm trying to say something here, man. I see you say that. Don't leave your first estate. Uh, but left our own habitation uh, and had reserved an everlasting change into darkness unto the judgment of the great day. So who, who going to judge him? The saints. That's why we went to the judgment first, then came to this verse to show you, amen, that they're going to be judged. And the saints is the one that's going to judge him because the saints repented, got right with God, now they're living holy. They're living like no devil. Uh, look at that seven verse. I had to put the seven verse in there. Even as Simon and Gomorrah and the, and the sinners about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going out to strange flesh. What do you think they were doing? They were sinning. It was men with men and women with women. Um, trying to satisfy that old junk of flesh. You can't satisfy that junk. You make it sin more. You need to quit it. Now Jesus Christ to uh, deliver you from that jump. Amen. In Jesus' name, put some blood in Jesus on them demons and devils that's trying to control your life. Giving themselves over to fornication and going out to strange fast. Amen. Strange fast, that, that's because they, they were having men with men and women with women. Are set forth for an example, showing the vision of eternal what? Fire. With fire. What God did with it. He, he burned it up. Oh, he burned that city up and sent him to hell. Lord, have mercy, God. All right, trying to, trying to, Lord, let me get back over here. And then come back to uh, 2 Peter. And then come back to 2 Peter. And, oh, oh yes, Lord. And then let's go to Genesis. Yeah, I got, I've got to show you what they did here. Uh, I, I had to bring out first what, amen. Uh, now we're going to show what they did and why they ended up like that. Let's go to Genesis, amen, the sixth chapter. Uh, the second verse, Genesis, the sixth chapter, the second verse. Uh, then the sons of God, who is the sons of God? As angels. So you see, if, if you see the sons of God, you're dealing with angels. If you see the son of man, you're dealing with us. Jesus Christ also is called the son of, son of, son of man because he came in the what? In the flesh. So he was called the son of man. Uh, Lord, I mean, he had, to, he had, somebody had to come and pay our bond. Somebody had to get us out. I say somebody had to get us out of prison uh, of sin. Lord, have mercy, God. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I go, get the Lord a hand clap. I say, get the Lord a hand clap for you. Amen. He came and got us out of sin. My God, I ain't going back to sin. And sin come to me? Oh, it's a fight. Oh, and I already know going to win when I go in. And I go in the battle with sin. I already know going to win. Oh, it's a fixed fight. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So the Lord man that they were fair. So they saw that they were fair. The son of the man, these angels is looking at them now. See, the angels looking at, the, at these women. Lord, how much it? They fell behind the woman. What man doing today? Find the other woman and hell his heart. If, it did, if he didn't spare the angels, he said, I ain't going to spare you. Lord, have mercy. Of men that they were fire, and they took them wives of all which they chose. Whatever they wanted, that, you know, that's what they took. I'm talking about the, the angel of God. They left their first estate. Look at that third word. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that uh, he also is flesh. Yet his days shall be in 120 years. So God shortened the days. And I'm going to give y'all some scriptures here to show you how long people used to live. Well, we got something to back all this up now. I said, I'm going to give y'all some scriptures to show you how people used to live. But now the angels shortened them days because now they done brought giants in the world and they committed sin. And now these people, amen, that's come on the earth, amen, now they're full of the devil. Who, who David had to fight? Goliath, he was a what? He was a giant. They wanted to fight the children of Israel. So the angels call themselves starting a, 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 a Lord, I mean, they call themselves starting a generation down here. Did it work? Nope. It didn't work. Anytime you try to start something against God, God gonna show up and show out. Every time you're a sister Kim, and they gonna work for you. 
And Sister Kim might say, might as well get it right because it ain't going to work for you. It might be working for you right now. But there's an end. And you don't want to come to the end of that thing. You want to get it right now. Because after the end, that's it. Uh, you ain't got no chances. Hey Amen. Look, 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 look uh, Lord have mercy. So he shot a day because the mangers came and started sinning, and now you got these giants on the on the land. Uh, and then David had to fight one of the giants and live with the boy. What it was? A slang shot. He said, You come with the sword and the spirit, I come in the what? I come in the name of the Lord. Hey Amen. He slung that, he slung that rock at that, 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 that giant, and the giant got everything, got all his armor on, and then bless God. Got all his armor, got a big old sword. And he, I mean, he about nine foot tall here to the day. And then little boy. Lord, I must say, God, God is somebody. Hey Amen. He, he swung that, that, that rock, and that rock hit right in the temple. Hey Amen. Where he had no armor at. Amen. Who you think, who, who you think God in that rock? Ain't nobody but the Lord. I say ain't nobody but the Lord. Amen. He came in the name of who? He came in the name of the Lord. And when he threw that rock, amen, the Holy Ghost, I say the Holy Ghost took that rock and hit that jack right where he had to fall. Thank you, Lord. I got it. Lord, have mercy, God. Oh, my God. Amen. Give the Lord another hand clap for you. God is an awesome God. Amen. Thank God for the word. Amen. Four words. Amen. Bless God. Uh, there were giants, amen, in the earth in those days. And also after that, amen, when the sons of God came into the what? The sons of God, the angel of God came into the daughter and they had sex with him. And they ended up with giants in the land. They thought they were going to start a generation. They ended up getting themselves in trouble. You can't fight God. It ain't going to happen. You ain't gonna win. You need to quit sinning. Of them and that it became mighty, uh, men which are whole, uh, men of the new. Fifth word, and God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. What's happening to the world today? It's getting evil, it's getting worse. You got more killing going on. And then they took the prize out of the school. Then they end up with a lot of killing in the, in the school. You, you get rid of God. You gonna, all you do is uh, let the devil come in and take you out. Oh, that wasn't too smart. That's why uh, the, the saints pray over their children. They know what they do. They put some blood on them. Before they set them to school. Amen. They put some protection on them. Amen. Let's God. They keep their children. Amen. Around that junk that's going on. My God, they know what to do. Amen. So let's look, let's look at a few here. Let's look at uh, Genesis, amen, 5 and 5. Amen, Genesis 5 and 5. And all the days of Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. So now he was 930. Now, uh, uh, y'all can write on the side there, amen, on the fifth verse, amen, how old that person was. That way you can go back, amen, and look at it again. Amen. If you want to do that, you can write that in your Bible. Amen. Now look at the eighth verse. And all the days of Seth were 912 years, and he died. So he died, what, at 912? That's number eight. Eight verse. Look at the 11th verse. And all the days of Enoch were 105 years, and he died. So he was 905. Now notice he was living what? They were living long until the angels came down and sinned. And God shot them days. Look at that 14 verse. And all the days of, uh, of Canaan were, were 910 years. And he died. So he was 900, 910. Amen. So uh, let's look at in the days of uh, Manadai were 890 and 5 years. And he died. He was 895 years old. Amen. Look at the 20th verse. And all the days of Jared, amen, were 906 and 2 years, and he died. He was 962 years old when he died. And Enoch walked with God after uh, he begot uh, Medjad 300 years, and begot sons and daughters. How old he was? 365. But who took him? Because he walked with God. He only lived 365. God took him. I like that. Amen. I don't need to live long, Lord. If, if it's, amen. If you need to come and get me, come get me. Amen. If you want me to live long, I thank you for that. Uh, but with you is eternity. Yes, with God is what? Yes, That's a, as long as 900 years. Yes, I say eternity is nine, longer amen, than 900 years. Amen. Bless God. Amen. Get a lot of hand grab sister. Better right. Thank God for, amen, for coming into the house of the Lord. Amen.
Amen. We give God all the honor and the glory for that. Amen. We're on page six. Amen. We're on page six, Genesis six, and we're dealing with the, how long they used to live. And all the days of uh, Melchizedek were nine hundred and six and nine years, and he died. Methuselah. That's Methuselah. Uh, he was nine hundred and sixty-nine. So, Lord, have mercy. So we see that he died. So now, who was who lived the longest? Methuselah, because he was what nine hundred sixty-nine. So Methuselah lived, I, I, I live all of them. Lord, have mercy, God. Uh, we, Lord. And now the, dog, the Lord is shortening the days. A lot of folks don't live that long. I mean, they ain't got too many people. If you live 100, over 120 years, that's grace. Yes. That's who? Grace. grace and mercy to let you live that long. But ain't too many people get up to 120. Lord, have mercy, God. Amen. Give the Lord another hand clap. Amen. For God's an awesome God. Thank God for the word. Amen. We're going to go to, amen, 2 Peter. Let's go back to 2 Peter. Amen. Best for God. And we're going to continue. Amen. With 2 Peter. Uh, Lord, how much? We got, we got some growth. We ain't going to be able to finish. I'll, I'll see the time catching up with us. Amen. We ain't going to be able to finish. So 2 Peter, the second chapter, we gave you some extra groceries. Amen. To bring you, amen, to some more knowledge, amen, of what's going on, amen, in 2 Peter, amen, the first verse. Uh, let's see here. 2 Peter. Let me get back over here, Lord. What I got here. Uh, that's page 1325. Amen. Page 13, amen, 25. Oh, yeah, that is, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Page 1326. We're on page uh, 1326 now. And we're going to the fifth verse. Because we deal with that fourth verse, which brought us, amen, to the angels and what they did, that they sinned against God. Amen. And that's what uh, Peter was talking about uh, in that fourth verse. For if God spared not the angels, he didn't spare them now when he sinned. Uh, that sin, he cast them down to what? The hell. So they're in hell right now, locked up. That's the ones that left the first estate, amen, got to, got to his wife. Now the rest of them is still running around. The devil and his fallen angels are still what? They're still running around. Uh, what's going to happen to them? Okay. They're gone. They're gone in hell. Uh, the Bible said in the, in the book of Revelation, I don't know if we're going to get there, amen, today or not. Uh, but you'll see what happened to them, amen. We'll see what happened to them through the word of God, amen, how God took care of them. Look at that uh, fifth word. And spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, and preach of what? Now, <laughs> Lord, that message. So you can live in this life in righteousness and holiness, and man, and preach righteousness. That's up to you. You can do it. Uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, and by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of God in you. I say it can be done through you. But you have to, you have to say that word now. You have to study that word. Amen. Because that word will keep you with wisdom. That word will keep you with knowledge and understanding how to do spiritual warfare. Amen. How to fight back. Amen. And not to let the enemy come in your life and, and destroy you because your junkie flesh won't want this and want that. And caught out of the mind and man, don't want to be satisfied. Lord, have mercy. So the devil give you all that little junk to kill you. Amen. Look at the fifth word. Uh, uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, know the eighth person that preach rise is bringing the flood upon the world of the ungodly. So what God brought on? The flood. Because they didn't want to do right. So he preached, he preached 120 years. Noah did. How many souls got saved? Eight souls. That's right, brother David. Only eight souls got saved while Noah was preaching and building an ark. And what they was doing when they saw Noah building an ark on dry ground? They was laughing at him. So folks going to laugh at you living holy. But you wiser than them. You were. You, you wiser than them. Let them laugh. They did that, they did that when Noah was building the ark. So folks going to make fun and tell you all you ain't got to live like that. Oh, they're quick to tell you that. Uh, they don't take all that. They take that and some more. Take what? Take that and some more. Look at that right? And turn the sins of Sodom and Gomorrah and to others, amen, condemn them uh, with an overthrow, making them an example unto those else that should live ungodly. So he used Sodom and Gomorrah with dealt with in Jude. Amen. How he burned them up. Amen. So he used that example for us not to live what? Ungodly. I'll be catching this word. It's, it's just in the word. Man just ain't getting it to you. That's why you got to blow the dust off that Bible and go get it for yourself. 
Tell me, brother. And deliver just loud, amen, vex, amen, with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Amen. A word. Uh, for that righteous man dwelling among them, seeing and hearing, vex his righteous soul from day to day with the unlawful deeds. So if you live in holy, it's going to vex you. Being around folks, amen, living like the devil, it's going to vex your soul. Now, I'm going to tell you another thing. The opposite of that, amen, if, if you're doing right and the person's doing wrong, it vex them. Seeing you living right. Yeah, they know you go the other way with the, with the ungodly because yeah, they want you to live like them. Look, look at that night, right? The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation. He knows how to do what? He, he, he'll deliver you out of temptation if you live godly. God knows how to do that. Call on him. Hey, whosoever call on the name of the Lord. Shall be saved. Call on when you can't. You decide to see, see your junk and flesh about to go in the sin. Call on. Hey Amen. Uh, temptation and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be what? Funny. So he going to reserve them. The unjust. That's the one that living right. That's the one want to do his own thing and want Jesus too. Yeah, this is better. You can't have birth now. Yeah, they bought the Christian show try to get them both. You got a lot of Christians trying to get Jesus and the, and the devil too. You, you're going to end up with the devil. And you're going to hell. Somebody, somebody walk with me. I said, you're going to end up in hell. Lord, have mercy God. I'm going to make it plain. I ain't watering this stuff down. I'm through with that foolishness. Amen. In Jesus' name. Look at that ninth verse. The Lord knows how to deliver the ungodly out of temptation, reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. Look at that tenth verse. Uh, but uh, chiefly them that walk after the flesh and the love of uncleanness. What are they walking after? Walking after the flesh, you know, we, we was dealing with that uh, warfare where the scripture says that uh, do I walk not, uh, do I walk in the flesh? I do not walk caught in the flesh. Uh, so we, uh, I changed that. I said, do I walk in the what? Spirit. In the spirit. Now I changed that because I know what the flesh can do. <coughs> you walk in the spirit, you ain't sinning. You walk in the flesh, and you better watch out. Amen. Let's not claim and despise, amen, despise government, but something of day, uh, self-will, that they're not afraid to speak evil of what? Dignity. Amen. That, 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 uh, that's a uh, people that's in authority. Amen. They're not able to, uh, to speak evil. So you want to speak evil of the person that's in authority, what you want to do for them? You want to pray for them. The Bible tells us, uh, lift a hold of hands and pray for those that's in authority. So you got to be praying for uh, Trump. Don't be talking, you talking about him ain't going to help out nothing. Amen. Pray I will. What, what's going to help him? Prayer. Well, you got to pray for Trump now. Oh, that be Prayer talking about him. Huh? Prayer changes Prayer, you heard what Sister Yvette Wright said? Prayer changes name. So we, wanna, we don't want to talk about our president. We want to pray for him. Amen. For God to change the situations in his life and also our life. I hope y'all getting this because you got some stuff in your life that you need to pray for. Talking about Trump, and you got some stuff in your life. Amen. Let me get back over here. Lord, where well, that preacher come up? But my check to zip, and then 777-03-1375, East Lucas. Thank you. Lord, I must say, uh, look at 11, right? where angels, amen, which are greater in power and might bring not reverent accusation against them before the Lord. Now look what they're going to say, amen, to these uh, uh, angels that, uh, <laughs> that's in dignity. Look at the 12 verse. But these are, are natural brutes, beasts made uh, to be taken and destroyed, speaking even of things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. 13 verse. And shall receive the reward of unrighteousness as they that count it pleasure to ride in the daytime. What is riding in the daytime? Uh, you know, you know how a person uh, in the daytime, you know, they 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 ride in the daytime. They come against uh, 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 the president. They come against all kind of governments, you know, and uh, they tear up the uh, uh, people's business. Yeah, yeah, you know, see, you know what I'm saying? They're in a ride. They tear they tear up uh, people's business, and uh, they don't they don't know that they're working for the devil. They 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 trying to get justice, and they breaking justice because they they're doing wrong. They ride in the daytime, tearing up stuff. Uh, I won't run with that crowd, Lord. Sponsor day and blemishes and scorning themselves with their own deceiving, uh, uh, deceiving while they feast with you, while they eating with you. Amen. Bless God. Uh, they're doing all this stuff. 
Look at that 14 verse. Have an eye full of adultery, and that it cannot see from sin. Well, they, they can't what? Stop they can't stop sinning. They're full of what? Sin. Adultery. Uh, they, got, they got a wife, and, and they just can't stop getting enough of that junket flesh satisfied. So since you can't satisfy the junket flesh, kill it. Kill, kill sin that's in it. Don't let it roll over you now. I'll fight my flesh. I'll fight my flesh. My flesh told me, tell me sometime, go get me a woman on the side. You know what I tell my flesh? You ain't getting no woman on the side. Uh, what I'm going to do to you, I'm going to put some Jesus on you. Amen. When I get through with this junk of flesh, and then the devil's calling himself trying to control me, when I get through the spirit, amen, them, I, I, I'm not ignorant of Satan's devices. I know where them spirits come from. And when I do get through doing spiritual warfare with them, amen, I can't find, amen, them, that flesh neither the woman that he's looking for. Uh, whip them both. Uh, put something on both of them. Amen. And be, I had a text today. I had a text today. And, 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 uh, they they want to get on Facebook. So I, uh, the person texted me and said, How you doing? I said, Uh oh. And I was doing my spiritual exercise at the time. Amen. We're doing all this texting going on. And, and, and I, had, I had to just tell the person, okay, I, I got to finish my spiritual exercise. <laughs> Lord, how much you got? So I, I texted back. I mean, I, I nipped that out. I, I had to nip it in the blood right quick. And I said, are oh, you saved? So it took a while before she texted back. Uh, so she finally said, she said, she said, said yes, she's saved. She asked me if I was saved. I said, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm saved. Uh, all over. Amen. How I'm saved? All over. And that coming in here. Uh, my God. Let me get back real. And, and hard day, I uh, have exercise with covenant practice, uh, curse children. Lord, have mercy, God. God, they curse the children. Because they can't stop what? Sin. Sin. I ain't playing that game. Which have forsaken him in the right way and are gone astray following the way of Balaam, the son of Bushar, who loved the wages of righteous. So uh, what did uh, Balaam do? That's a prophet now. Uh, uh, he the one the donkey spoke to. Yeah, yeah with a, with a, uh, it was a she donkey with a man boy. I've been enough right there for me to say, okay, Lord, I give up. I give up. I don't want no money. I don't want no what? I don't want no money, Lord. Uh, uh, now the she donkey. I'm down on this donkey, and I know it's a she donkey and talking to me with a man boy. Uh -uh, I ain't playing that game. Yeah, I said, whoa, hold up your donkey. Amen. We ain't going that way. Let's get out of here. And said he wanted that money, and then God turned around and killed him. You need to go read, you need to go read that. Look at 16 verse. Uh, but with rebuke of his iniquity, uh, the dumb ass spake with what? A man voice. And now you're not going to see a she donkey here. You have to go to the Old Testament to pick it up. That was a she donkey he was riding on. Now here in the New Testament, you find out uh, he spoke with a man voice. So you have to get that verse, a man, and tie it in with this verse, and you'll put them together. Uh, for forbidden the manners of the prophet. Amen. So the donkey tried to save the prophet. It wouldn't even listen to the donkey. Look at 70 verse. Uh, these are wells without water. Clouds are they carried with, with, with their temples. To whom the midst of doctors are reserved forever. Look at 18 verse. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they are lured through the lust, amen, of the flesh. Well, what, what got them now? So when you feel a lust of spirit come on your flesh, what you going to do? Pray, go in the warfare right then because them devils ain't gonna leave you alone because you get saved. So you gotta know how to fight. If you can do Bible Center, well, amen. At seven o'clock, we, we ain't got much time left. Amen. We're gonna be studying about how to whip that devil. Amen. Bless God. Amen. Through much wantness, uh, those that are clean escape them that live in error. So if you clean, you gotta escape from what? Error. Uh, you got some saints living in error. Error. They got saved and it was a saint, but they're not even backslid and now the devil got in. The old junkie, they don't know what to do, do with that flesh. Ain't nobody teaching them no warfare. Hey Amen. Ain't nobody teaching them how to fight. Uh, lust of the spirit that come on. Uh, they're not, they, they don't understand what's happening to them because ain't nobody teaching them nothing. Uh, I like the way P, Peter put it. He said, it don't seem like something strange is happening to you. That's what Peter said about it. That's 1 Peter 4 and 12. Hey Amen. 1 Peter 4 and 12 said, don't seem like something strange is happening as though some strange thing is happening. It's, the, it, it, it's happening because the enemy is shooting in the, the fiery darts at your junkie flesh. 
And if you do not acquaint the fire of God to the wicked one, amen, with the shield of faith, who is the shield of faith? Jesus. You use Jesus to quest them, them dogs. The fire of dogs coming at your junky flesh. Your flesh will rise up against you if you let them let the spirits get on you. Amen. Look at all. So they live in an error. Look at the name for it. And when they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. For of whom a man is overcome, the same as he brought in the bondage. So at one time they got saved. At one time they got free. But then they let they didn't know how to do spiritual exercise. They didn't know how to do spiritual warfare. I guess they the lust of their flesh and caught out of their mind bless God. They didn't know how to do spiritual warfare. Amen. Lord have mercy God. So now they are right back where they started from. Back in bondage. So sin puts you in what? Mm -hmm. Sin puts you in bondage. You try to figure out ways how to sneak away from the house, uh, call a texter, see her. The old flesh can't control itself. I just got to have you, honey. If loving you is wrong, <laughs> they used to have a song out there. I used to go listen on a jukebox. That never had me there for a while. But Jesus. Amen. But who? But Jesus set me free. I broke that drug. Amen. Uh, if loving you is wrong, I know I don't want, I don't want to love you at all. Lord have mercy. Amen. Because it's wrong. I break that DVD. I say, I break what? I break that DVD. You ain't going to play that, that junk on me on devil. You ain't fooling me no more. Amen. If it's wrong, I don't want to do wrong. In the name of Oh, put some on your devil. Don't come fool with me. Amen. 25. Uh, if after they have, amen, escaped the pollution of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now, they, they was escaped. Through who? Through the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Amen. They got saved. They are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end of that uh, is worse than uh, the beginning. So they didn't, they didn't do no spiritual warfare with that spirit. So now the latter end is going to be worse because now they're going to have more spirits coming in. You know, man, it got cleaned up, and the devil said, let's go, let's go back to my house. I'm going back to my house where I got uh, put out of. So he went to the house and saw the house swept in garments. There ain't no word in there, no prayer going on, no, no fire, there ain't no warfare. Ain't nothing going on in that house. That house is clean. It just got saved. Nothing in the house. So now, Lord have mercy. We're going to see what Peter said about that. It been better than had not knowledge of Jesus Christ. Because now they'd be worse. And they brought seven times worse than themselves back in that house. So all you do when you backslide, you just let more demons come in. You don't want to do that. You don't want, you don't want to do that. If they come in, you need to get them out. Preach, you can't. I still say, yeah, you still got a chance. Get them out. Repent. I say, repent now. And then call on Jesus. Get yourself cleaned up in the blood. And stop doing spiritual warfare with your old chuck of flesh. And a caught out of your mind. Now. Whip them. Whip them in Jesus' name. Oh, the blood of the Lamb of God. And fight all the way to the end. Don't fight in this style. Go all the way to the end. Until the Lord call you out of here. Or until you come back, whichever one comes first. Look at 21 for it. Uh, for they had been better for them now not knowing the way of rising than now to have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered to them. They had, they, got the, they had the holy commandment. It was living holy. So at one saved, always say it was a lie. Man, lying to you. Amen. If you, you living in sin, you done backslid, and you need to get them devils back out of you. We got 20, 20 seconds for it. Uh, but it happened unto them according to the true proverb. So he's going to use a dog as an example in the natural. Amen. The dog is turned to his own diamond again. So in the natural, if you see a dog throw up, what do you normally know do? He go back and lick it back up. And so he's using that as, as, as an, an animal. Amen. So man, what he do when he gets saved, he go back and lick, lick sin up again. And a sow that washed a man in the wilding of his mare. So he's using a hog. So when you wash a hog up, put a little perfume on, put him a head on, and put a dress on him, what happened to him? He go back in the mud. So you did all that for nothing. He gonna go back in the mud. That's his nature. So now, if his nature is like that, I don't want to be no hog and I don't want to be no dog. So what I do, amen, when the devil came and bring his junk to me, I already know to do. I go in spiritual warfare, amen, and whip him and sin, amen, before sin whip me. Use my flesh no more. You're not going to use the card out of my mind because it's spiritual. I'm renewing it with the word of God. I take the word of God and renew my mind. Amen. So my mind stay with you. Amen. With the word of God. Lord, have mercy God. Uh, so I won't go to 
Hell. Somebody walk with me. That's what we're dealing with. I said, so I won't go to hell. Amen. Bless God. So I'm learning how to stay out of hell. So I won't end up in hell. Uh-oh. Amen. We, we're not out of word. We are right out of time again. Amen. Get a lot of hand clap, man, for the word. Amen. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus.